A short historical outline of the Bon religion. The origin of Bon Part 1 almost long ramming. The Bon Pos maintain that Bon originated in the land of Olmo Long Ramming Oel and O Long Ring, a part of a larger country called Tazig or Tag Gzigs. Ol symbolizes the unborn, and O, the undiminishing, Long, the prophetic words of Ton Fish and Rab Stan Posh and Rab, the founder of Bon and Ring. His everlasting compassion. Golmolongramming constitutes one third of the existing world and is situated to the west of Tibet. It is described as an eight petaled lotus under a sky which appears like an eight spoked wheel. In the center rises Mount Yungdrungga Segjiongdrung Di Gudrut Segs Pyramid of the Nine Swastikas. The swastika is the symbol of permanence and indestructibility. The nine swastikas collectively represent the nine ways of Bon. At the base of Mount Yungdrung spring for rivers, flowing towards the four cardinal directions. The mountain is surrounded by temples, cities and parks. To the south is the palace Barposod Barposodi Raj Iad where Tan Fish and Rab was born. To the west and north are palaces in which lived the wives and children of Tan Fish and Rab. The temple named Shampo El Hat Set Shampo El Hardi Esi is to the east. The complex of places rivers and parks with Mount Yerdrung in the center constitutes the inner region Nang Jianing of Olmo Long Ramming. The intermediate region Bar Jianing consists of 12 cities, four of which are towards the cardinal directions. The third region includes the outer land Emphis Jianing. These three regions are encircled by an ocean and again by a range of snowy mountains. The access to all Long Ramming is gained by the so-called Arrow Way and the Aslam. Before his visit to Tibet Tan Fish and Rab shot an arrow thus creating a passage through the mountain range. This very sophisticated description of Olmo Long Ramming has been tentatively related by some scholars to different geographical locations. Some see it as a description of Mount Kailash Mount He Southeast and the four great rivers that spring from its base, China being the land to the east, India to the south, Orgian to the west and Khotan to the north. The description of the universe with Mount Meru supporting the sky and the four chief continents to the four cardinal points and this earth as the southern continent Jam Badvipit is another similar example. The founder and his teachings. The founder of Bon religion is the Lord Shenrab Me Boj Shenrab Mile Bo. In past ages there were three brothers, Dagpa Dagpa Selba Asaba and Sherpa Shipa who studied the Bon doctrines in the heaven named Sridipa Sridpa Yaza and Yasangs under the Bon Sage Bunkri Logi Chirkan Bunkri Globji Ilce Kan. When their studies were completed, they visited the God of Compassion, Shindoha Hokur Shindelha Odidikar and asked him how they could help the living beings submerged in the misery and sorrow of suffering. He advised them to opt as guides to mankind in three successive ages of the world. To follow his advice the eldest brother Dampa completed his work in the past world age. 
The second brother Selba took the name Shenrab and became the teacher and guide of the present world age. The youngest brother Sherpa will come to teach in the next world age. The Lord Shenrab was born in the Barho Sog Palace to the south of Mount Udrung. He was born a prince, married while young and had children. At the age of 31 he renounced the world and lived in austerity, teaching the doctrine. During his whole life his efforts to propagate the Bon religion were obstructed by the demon Kyagpa Kyagpa Lajiaring Lag Ring. This demon fought to destroy or impede the work of Tan Shenrab until he was eventually converted and became his disciple. Once, pursuing the demon to regain his stolen horses, Tanpa Shenrab arrived in Tibet. It was his only visit to Tibet. There he imparted some instructions concerning the performance of rituals but, on the whole, found the land unprepared to receive fuller teachings. Before leaving Tibet he prophesied that all his teachings would flourish in Tibet when the time was ripe. Tanpa Shenrab departed this life at the age of 82. There are three biographies of Tanpa Shenrab. The earliest and shortest one is known as Dodu M. Dodu's Epitome of Aphorism. The second which is in two volumes is called Sir McGeezy or Mig Piercing I. These two accounts date from the 10th and 11th centuries respectively. The third and largest is in 12 volumes and is known as Zargbr Jayad the Glorious. It belongs to the category of scriptures known as spiritual transmission Bhasnian Rajayud. It is believed to have been dictated to Londonian Podlo. El Danius Eni Ingpo who lived in the 14th century. The Founder and His Teachings Part 3 The doctrines which were taught by Lord Shenrab and recorded in these three accounts are divided into two systems. One classification is called Gashi D. Zargas Jo D. E. M. D. Zod L. N. G. A. The Four Portals and the Treasury as Fifth. These are 1. Chugkar Chab Deeker White Waters. It contains the esoteric or higher tundric practices. 2. Chugnag Chab Nag Black Waters. Includes narratives and various rites magic and ordinary. 3. Fanul Fan Yalna Land of Fan explains the monastic rules and gives exposition of philosophical concepts. For Ponce Deepen Yal the Lordly Guide, it contains the great perfection practices Rdsugs Chan. 5. The Fog Impth Fog the Treasury it comprises the essential aspects of all the four portals. The second classification is called Vaparam Gui Bon Theb Pa Grimp D Gui Bon The Bond of the Nine Successive Stages or simply the Nine Ways of Bon. The first four are the cause Rajai Yud Kyi Theb Pa The next four are the ways of result Bras Bui Theb Pa And the ninth is the great perfection Rudsugs Chan Examined individually their subject matters are as follows 1. The way of the Shan of prediction Ambo prediction RDSEs astrology GTO ritual and DFA examination of causes to the way of the Shan of the visual world nature and origin of entities three the way of the Shan of illusion for disposing of adverse powers 
for the way of the Shan of existence, Bardo and guiding one through death. 5. The way of the virtuous followers, guides those who follow this path. 6. The way of the monkhood, rules of monastic discipline. 7. The way of pure sound, higher tantric practice, ritual and mandala. 8. The way of the primeval Shan, matters of practice and behavior. 9. The supreme way. Attainment of Rudsugs Chan, the great perfection.